Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ascend Daz here. Today is a quick video to highlight some changes in this patch that may or may not affect sniping for you guys. My goal is to inform you of changes you may or may not know. So the practice range has gotten some love and updates. While we need some specialization still in there, you can at least now cycle the zeroing of the gun and also fight some moving targets. I get hit up in the comments, what is the best way to practice with leading targets? The answer by simply is memorizing it. This practice range, I recommend going in and taking your time with each and show and well record all of your gameplay. You really have to memorize the location in which you aim based on the distance and keep doing this until you become, well, it becomes second nature. Remember, each gun has a different velocity, so each will have a different lead. Some quick obvious changes are to healing. As you can see the bar when you are replenishing health, the color changes when it's going up. This is vital as it gives you a clear info on when to push or when to wait. As we talked about before, is very important when playing as an aggressive sniper. Also, there's a helpful highlight icon that appears on the screen to let you know to use your health pack. The kill cam bug is fixed and is also much cleaner. No longer are we dealing with the cam being delayed and stuck in a rut. The vaulting and climbing is also now smoother for overall animation style. For snipers pulling off those shots, this is really important to make sure people's movement is predictable and visually it is not as jarring. Also, when you're playing aggressively, you can ledge grab much faster when pushing onto a target. Bugs not addressed are still the sniper on PC when issues when you zoom in the screen will be blackened, meaning, uh, example, the famous crag bug. If you are unaware of that bug, I have a video in the description so you can use as a reference. Also, when you're pushed by a tank, your scope will blur. Company coin has been fixed and addressed, so if you have not logged in, you should have a crap ton of company coin. Also, you are earning company coin properly now. I personally use all mine for bolt action skins. Rumors are going around that the Ross bolt action is coming on February 24th. If that is indeed the date, I'll make a guide and tips and tricks video for you guys, well, literally ASAP. There's a new graphic setting uh, feature appearing as well, it's located here. I haven't had a lot of time to mess with this, and I've been, I did test it on stream and didn't notice a ma massive drastic change. But if anybody does have more info, definitely respond in the comment section down below. Another changes are maps mesh quality with grass. There's a lot more presence, so you can't drop graphics to add more visibility. This is in most apparent on Twisted Steel. So as an FYI, you might have some lost FPS on maps depending on your rigs and what you set the graphic setting to. Menus have also been reworked and tweaked to look cleaner. Overall, this patch is fixed more than it breaks. So honestly, I'm very impressed with this patch. Every gameplay feels smoother. ADS uh, for most guns is also a lot smoother in animation style. I'll have a link in the description to Drunksies who visualizes this a lot better um, so you can have a reference point. Again, hope you guys found this quick patch review very helpful and very straight to the point and kind of see what affects you as a sniper. Additionally, if you did find it helpful, hit the like button. If not, leave a dislike and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.